Hello, my name is Joel Dunning, and I'm delighted to be here with Aziz Momin. Uh, Aziz has a great involvement in a really great course called the London Core Review. Um, and uh, I was really impressed with this and really kindly, uh, the London Core Review, they've been going for many years, as you're going to find out very soon. They're going to share some of their very best lectures with us at CTSnet. So I want to extend a very warm welcome to Aziz. Maybe say hi and tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you work and, and, and then how you got involved in the London core of you no oh, hi joel thank you for inviting me to cts net um i'm very grateful for the opportunity to talk about the london core and also to uh, disseminate some of our lectures from the london core to your uh, database and your delegates i was fortunate enough from my md to win the aris and girl fellowship at the royal college of surgeons of london uh, previously one of my people like alexander fleming so i was very privileged um, this has led to a lifelong passion and love like yourself for education, especially of my peers, uh, my fellow colleagues and the allied healthcare professionals that I've worked throughout my life. And this led to uh, always organizing wet labs and dry labs and educational programs as a registrar and as a senior registrar at different trusts like Imperial and Manchester and also Bart's and London Chest. I'd like to just show you a few slides and I'll give you the whole history of that. Yeah, it'd be great, it'd be really interesting because it is, that's where it all began. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear that. Uh, I've actually met John Doty and I'm sure you'll be able to tell us all about how this all came about. That'd be really great. So the London Call Review, uh, we're fortunate enough, we'd move into our, I believe our fourth new venue, as I'll tell you, to the Wellcome Institute, which is opposite Euston in London. We're running it between the 10th and the 12th of April, 2024. And we'd love to have you down as a guest as well. Who's the course for? So there's this an idea that it's only for registrars and senior registrars and people pre uh, preparing for their either FRCS cardiothoracics or the European boards or the American exams. That's not technically what we've got at the London Core Review. Yes, it will help you prepare for these exams, but it's actually a revalidation of cardiothoracic surgery for anyone of any interest from SHO, SPR to consultants. Uh, and attending consultants from around the world. Also, we've now kind of broadened the sphere. So we've got allied healthcare professionals, and this rely, relates from uh, consultant anesthetists and cardiologists, all the way down to aspiring medical students, surgical care practitioners, perfusionists, and our nurses on the wards and in ITU. We've been very fortunate. We've been running for many, many years, and we've pretty much had delegates from all over the world, all the way from US to Russia to Sub-Saharan Africa to South America, Australia, Fiji, and whatever you name it, we've been fortunate enough. And the reason is for this is that the, our focus has always been to run the cost at a very low value. So our first course in 2011 was run at about 300 and 300, or 350 pounds per delegate. And I was actually told off by the Royal College of Surgeons because I was running the course too cheap. Because I'm sure you remember in those days, a day at the Royal College was a course, like a balloon pump course or an educational day was 1,500 or 2,000 pounds. So our first literally seven courses were at the Royal College of Surgeons. We were very happy there. We had a great team and the course ran brilliantly. Unfortunately, the Royal College of Surgeons was going to have sold part of the building and we're going down the refurb. So we were forced to move out. So I had a good affiliation with the Royal Society of Medicine because I'm one of the past presidents of the cardiothoracic section. And in 2018, we did a year there. Then Jesh, who's one of our administrators, found a fantastic venue at the Royal College of Physicians with a lot more space, gardens and so forth. So we moved there. One year was disrupted via COVID. Various other issues like costs going up at the Royal Colleges. We've had to move to the Wellcome Institute, which is even better because it's given us more space a more central location right next to a train station. It's a fabulous building. As you know, there's a, and a gallery, there's a museum, and we've got a state-of-the-art theatre and a massive exhibition centre for our sponsors. Like you, I started medical school. I was very fortunate. I did King's College London. I did two years the old-fashioned way where we just learned anatomy and physiology, um, pure basic science. I had a great time, you know, meeting other philosophers and lawyers uh, and not being just at primary at medical school. And interesting, as you know, King's College in the Strand is literally a stone throw away from uh, the Royal College of Surgeons, so Lincoln in Fields. After I qualified, a colleague of myself and me, we went to Salt Lake City to do the original core review course, which is three and a half days, 
very intensive, 7 till 7, 80 lectures in cardiac, thoracic and paediatric. And this was in preparation just for sitting the exit exam. This was a great course, and it was set up by the late Donald Dotty, who's the father of my co-director, John Dotty. And I will never forget Donald Dotty because when I went there, he gave the most fabulous lectures, the, one of the best lectures I've ever heard on pediatric and cardiac anatomy. It was absolutely fabulous, the development of the heart and so forth. He was one of the pioneers of cardiac surgery, and he also was an author of Kirkland. He developed this course, the core review, in the 80s because there was a huge failure rate of the Utah residents sitting the board exams. He got to work with his son, John Dotty, who was a medical student at the time, and they produced 4,000 slides on a carousel, and then that's how the course began. And after that, Donald and John have written this fantastic book on cardiac surgery operative techniques with beautiful illustrations. And as you can see, uh, his father was one of the original authors with Dr. Kucharakis of the Kirkland book which is like a Bible of cardiac surgery. So the evolution, we've gone all the way from a carousel with slides to initially CDs, then we had USBs. One of the first things we did at London Call Review was we recorded all the lectures and put them on a library so that every day they could access those in the future. And then with my administrator, Jesh, we've now developed it much further that you have a web app. You can go back to our history of 10 years of all the lectures and they're available in all formats, iPhones, laptops. And I think this is a great way to learn. This is the world's most expensive time. Salman Khan, who's a very famous Bollywood actor, wore it, it's $220,000. But I said my tie for the FRCS, and I'm sure Joe will agree, when we did that, we had to pay for all these costs at one and two thousand pounds and three thousand pounds cost us a lot of money, 10 to 20,000 pounds. So the ethos of the London Call Review was to give everybody all this at a very simple and cheap price, but of the highest quality. And our schedule is available. It's predominantly cardiac with some uh, with thoracic and pediatric added in that is essential for the exams and also of interesting topics for everyone. This is the faculty. Uh, the three course directors are myself and my great supporter throughout my career and who used to be my consultant when I was an SR, Mr. Alex Shippenu of Barts Hospital, and my good friend and great colleague and a real pioneer in education, he won the Dwight Magoon Prize at the AATS for educating the US trainees, Mr. John Dotty. And then I have a fantastic faculty and they all give up their time for free. No one gets paid at our course. And as you can see, we've got Mr. John Pellin from Forasics from Barts, Mr. Chandra, who's my colleague at St. George's, Professor Redmond, who's in Ireland, who worked with me at uh, Harefield Hospital. Then we've got the Americans, Dr. William Kane, the Dr. Lee McCann, who come across every year, Eric Griffiths. Dan Guthrie's from the States as well. And then we have Professor Madden, who's a respiratory and intensivist and heart transplant specialist who'd worked with Professor Magda Yacoub at Harefield and has set up the program at St. George's. And then Shafi Musa is a colleague and is now a consultant uh, pediatric surgeon in Bristol. Dr. Alison Duncan, who's an echo specialist from the Brompton. Mr. Simon Phillips, who's a perfusionist at St. George's. And we also have Mr. Shaquille Farid, who's a consultant aortic surgeon at Papworth Hospital. I changed the format. We we kept a lot of the essential parts of the core, but I developed what we call a, a national, a UK or European element of a day, and now that's increased to a day and a half. And we also developed an interactive program where you would take the delegates through questionings that they will get at any viva, be it in the board exams or the FRCS. And that's proved very popular. And this is led by Alex Shipley and myself for cardiac. And in that, we introduce pioneer lectures from people like Tyron David, who supported us every year, Professor Dubry now calls. And then we developed other things like multidisciplinary panels where we have Professor Taggart uh, and Iqbal Malik and others discussing what is right for the patient, whether it's stents, whether it's surgery, whether it's nothing, just medical therapy and interesting cases. These are the superstars of cardiac surgery. And I've been very fortunate to make their acquaintance and they've become my dear friends and colleagues. They let go of their busy schedules. And a lot of the times Tyrone and Jabreen were flying from double ATS or wherever they are. One year I remember Jabreen was in Beirut doing an operation and he changed the things around to come and support core review. And obviously we've got Professor David Taggart who's been there. And then we've got Professor Prakash Punjabi at Imperial. Vinny Bapa, as we all know, is now a superstar for percutaneous and it's in the States. And Dr. Iqbal Malik, who's a very renowned cardiologist from Imperial College. How is it possible that we can run this course so cheap if I didn't have all these sponsors? 
that are there that are named all the way from uh, you know atricure bd serve getting the dot medical madala zima abbott without these sponsors we would never be able to run the courses as cheap as we can that's us at london core please visit our website register for the course everybody's welcome thanks john That's great. Fantastic. And just to highlight again, this is not a course to make you money. You say you don't make a penny. The Nobody else makes a penny. This is out of your passion and to get it as cheap as possible for things, isn't it? You just do it because it's a passion of yours, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, not not only me. I do it from a passion, but all my all my speakers, no one gets paid. You know, the American faculty actually come over and pay for themselves for their flights and accommodation. So it's a real passion. It's not only myself who's given up his time for free and run it all the year round. It's all my all my all my speakers, all my faculty as well. It's a labor of love. The enjoyment I get is like you with cows. I get to meet people from all over the world. Like I say, the superstars of cardiac surgery have become my friends and I can tap on them for knowledge and and it, and and that's the beauty of it. It's about spreading knowledge, education. You know, we we sponsor people as well and we're hoping to develop in the future if we have raised funds, scholarships so that we can bring people from sub-Saharan Af Africa, not only just give them the free registration, but hopefully we can pay for their flights and hotels. And maybe uh, tell us just briefly the lectures that you're going to share with us on CTSnet. We've gone for mainly the superstars of cardiac surgery. So you, I think I believe we've got the one from um, uh, Jabrin al Khoury, and we've also got Professor Tyron David, and it's all aortic reimplantation and mitral valve repairs. Third one, I believe, was Professor Stephen Westerby in the Landmarks of Cardiac Surgery to give you the history of cardiac surgery as well. So they're all different elements, but it will give you a flavor of what's available if you come to the course. And if you can't make the course, we do have a web app which you can buy. You get access to all the lectures. Uh, we've always given free books with the, with the course of all the lectures as well. And I believe you've even got some plans to maybe take this core review course elsewhere. Um, so we're very fortunate. Uh, Dr. Doty has taken it previously to New Zealand. I've taken him with Dr. Doty to Dubai. And we're just, we're planning to be in Bangladesh this February. That'll be very interesting. We've already got 100 delegates for that one. And the plan is hopefully with your collaboration, we're going to take it hopefully at the end of the year to India. And then hopefully in 2025, we may even take it to uh, Ghana with your assistance and Africa, because that would, that would be a wonderful opportunity. I hope this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship together. I can't wait to see these uh, lectures. I think it's fantastic what you guys have done with this course. It's uh, I've totally paid vast amounts of money for courses when I was a trainee. So these, you know, really, really good value. And yeah, I really look forward to hopefully going as maybe a little joint intervention, CTSnet and the core of you maybe going out to, to India and maybe Africa in the future. So Myself, Joel Dunning, and everyone at CTSnet, thank you so much, Aziz, for, for doing all this. I know you put hundreds of hours in of your own time, and, uh, and I really look forward to working with you in the future together on this, and best of luck in April. Thank you very much, Joel. It's really, and it's not just me, it's a team effort. It's all the faculty, the speakers, my administrators like Jesh. It's a team effort. I really am excited with the opportunities you have given us with uh, CTSnet, but also in collaboration, I look forward to going to India or Ghana or wherever in Africa. I think we both have the same passion, is which is education and delivering it at low cost. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And uh, it's been great talking to you. Thank you, Joe.